Hey guys, welcome back to Not Sissy. My name is Kali, and in this video, I want to share with you seven cutting skills to know and learn with regards to cooking. Okay, so so if that's why you're here, feel free to wait till the end of this video to know all seven. Hi guys, welcome to my food channel, Knox Kissing. My name is Kari. The channel is about cooking, kitchen etiquette and equipment, guys. So guys, cutting basically aims to cutting ingredients in the kitchen. How you cut it based on the ingredient, based on the food product to make sure you feel. So it's cutting is really important because of it plays a role in how you want to cook your food. It plays a role on how you eat your food. It plays on how you digest your food. So different foods like carrots, like... Um, green pepper like um, cabbage they have different ways you cut them different ways you slice them okay so cutting basically cuts across the shape the shape the sizes the thickness and the length okay first one is slicing so so slicing just basically means to slice sli item into thin pieces as a whole or in its own shape okay so when you are slicing you just slice in thin pieces this is majorly done for vegetables. So people slice the vegetables in thin stripes, in thin pieces. And then when you are slicing, you are going to cut into desired length. Okay, so that is the first cutting style, which is called slicing. So the second on a um, cutting list is julienne. So julienne basically means just slicing your products into tiny thin strips. So these tiny strips are really long and you basically can do this for your vegetables, for carrots and most especially if you are making salads, okay? Then it's used to slice root vegetables for salads. So the third is mincing. So mincing basically means after you have cut in julienne shape or you have sliced, you now cut it in square shape, tiny square shapes. So this method is basically used when you are cutting green onions, garlic, when you are cutting garlic, when you are cutting ginger, basically when you want to make sauces, so when you want to make sauce, that's when you use this third cutting style, which is mincing, okay? That's why you see they call meat by mince by because of how they cut the ingredient in, inside the meat by into minced side. The fourth is batonet. So batonet just basically means cutting your product into big sizes cut products into proper lengths and they are big they are thick and and they are cut into thick stripes for desired effect okay so that's what batonet is so to dice is another cutting style so it basically means you're cutting your batonet into cubes and this can be done for your potatoes for your tofu to make sure you feel so uh, to dice basically just mean cutting your batonet into cubes okay so the sixth one is diagonal slicing so diagonal slicing basically is for cucumber it just means you are cutting your product or your food into diagonal shapes the reason why you cut ingredients into diagonal slices is because of how large and how shaped they are so when you are cutting your cucumber you know you're cutting it in a diagonal that is for main course, which is also called roll cut. This is our seven cutting sample. Okay, this just basically means that you are slicing your cucumber, your carrot into wedge shape, w e d g e sliced shape. Okay, while you are cutting this wedge shape, you are going to be turning your product around with you. So basically, this this style of cutting is for round, long products like cucumber, like carrot. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Do remember to like, to share, to subscribe, and the notification button. I'll see you amazing people in my next video. Bye guys.